before watching this video i want to quickly talk about the waist trainer i used before you watch any part of this video without this information this video will be very useless to you um there are different types of waist trainers okay most people like to use something like this and call it waist trainer i did my research a lot so these ones are very good for workout and exercise and they may not just give you the results you want to find get but for the sake of this video i used a latex a latex waist trainer with 24 steel boning and it has hooks on this side it smells like rubber because it's latex it has hooks on this side basically it has hooks on this side between each hooks each of the hook you have about two inches a bit one inch i think two inches i'm not sure but you so when you are progressing and you are you, you are comfortable with this you move to the next hook when you're comfortable with this you move to the next hook and when you are completely comfortable then it is time for you to change the waist trainer to a smaller size so when if you want to do this after watching this make sure you go for a latex waist trainer so it's it's 100 percent latex and four percent spandex but the inside part of it is cotton so that it doesn't irritate your skin if you hope to wear it on your skin okay if you hope to wear it on your skin it doesn't irritate your skin okay while this is it this is it size i made size 14 i wear size 14 and because of course i've added with and i'm on a weight loss journey i've dropped some little pounds off and i'm so happy um i am is 14 16 so i got in the size extra large i don't know if you can see who say waist training is bad and it's they landed in the hospital this is because they are greedy when you want to buy a waist trainer start with your size this is my size guys imagine a waist trainer is extra large for my size and the first day i wore it <laughs> it was difficult putting it on i lost my nails and if you want to be comfortable and you want to do this i'll say don't fix nails Just try not to fix nails until you are used to it um or fix very very short nails <sighs> the first one week or the first day you wear it or the first one week and try to get accustomed with it for one week first before you start proper so i try to get accustomed with it the video you're watching is not like my first time ever trying this on the first time i tried this on i couldn't keep it on for 30 minutes i removed it another day again i'll pick it up i'll try to put it on for 30 minutes i'll remove it so until I was kind of used to it and i said okay let me give this a try and as a beginner that's why i'm doing this video don't try to be mm, you build your body there so the first always start with like three hours three hours after three hours you get it off don't be in a hurry and even if it's not up to three hours and you don't feel comfortable get it off don't feel bad don't be in a hurry don't feel you didn't do anything you did it because to remove it is as hard as putting it on so if you wait to the point you're like gassed out or <laughs> it's not good just remove it so you're not under pressure removing it take it slow and all that and that's what i'm doing and do you want was it worth it did i see good is, is there any other thing i want to do so always measure your waist and go with your size go with your size don't be greedy and go a size smaller to what you want to be no go with your size seriously just go with your size plus 
when it's your first time doing this, you find it very difficult to do other work around the house, other chores, lying down will be difficult, sitting down, all positions will be difficult, but when you get used to it, you just get used to it. Instead, it's, it will be having wrinkles. Anyways, was it worth it? Did I see results? Hmm. Find out in this video, just find out for yourself. So that's it for this video. That's not just it for the video. You saw, I saw amazing results. Obviously, I had, I, in less than one week, in one week, I had dropped to the second hook. To the second hook, and I was shook. It also helped to shrink my tummy, but not the surface fat. But to shrink in the waist i don't know if i make sense shrink in the waist not the surface fat it also helped with my lower belly fat if you guys noticed the throughout the video um then my um hip dips hip dips because it's like i don't know there are different types of hip dips mine is not really really bad but i noticed it was really working on it i'm pushing the fat from my hips and just pushing it closer to the between the hips and the other discontinuation I don't know if I make sense making it less obvious making the dips less obvious and this is just one week so I'm imagining if this is something as I plan to make it a lifestyle I continue and what I would it would be like in five months in a year in six months like I wonder why I had not jumped on this before now but i'm happy i'm jumping on it so if you plan to do it it's really worth it just follow the rules listen to your body get your right size and get right with trainer and um what else do i like to say did i notice it did yes it helped my lower belly fat it helps shrink my waist but when it comes to surface under skin fat it's only workout that could get rid of that like cardio and blah 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 and during this process i wasn't doing any serious workout i wasn't doing any special diet or no intermittent fasting but i was making sure not to eat too much i ate when i was hungry yeah next time bye guys